<laughs> All right, Grammy, we taping this for you. We didn't want you to miss out. <laughs> Right. So, um, so yeah, so this is a prickly love story left over from some Valentine. You might have some Valentine's candy, I don't know, left over or flowers or, or a card or two. I sent it out the door. But what we're going to do is we're going to think about how God's love goes on and on and on uh, as we have some fun with this. Now, I read this story this week with little people because we were talking about it. it's not enough just to come to church on Sunday and learn about how God loves us. It's that you got to go home and you got to live it, right? You got to practice loving ways and kindness with people, even though you don't like a whole lot, right? So, <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun with this. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. If you need to use the um, block for your feet to reach the floor because you're tiny, you can do that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're seeing. Uh, put your hands on your heart, and we'll sing. It's about love, love, love. All right. Try that with me. It's about love, love, love. Now reach your arms wide, and as you do, really push the upper body through. Relax in your shoulders. All right, so yeah, so we're getting a little arch in the back, a little bit of um, uh, uh, camel, like a little bit of the camel move here. Um, that's what it's all about. Try that. And that's, that's what, what it's all about. about. Now reach high, because God loves us. Now hug yourself. We love each other. Now with a hug, just see if you can get a nice big openness in the back of the body. So you might want to do the opposite, right? You might want to curl a little bit to get that openness feeling. But we're going to switch um, and switch out and hug on the opposite elbow on top. So if you can, if it comes about the same way, you're not going to be that bobsled. It's okay. All right, here we go. Uh, mother, father, sister, brother, everybody scream and shout. Now take your arms high and go, woohoo! Yes, and then take your arms out again. That's what it's all about. Hands to the heart. It's about love, love, love. Big breath in and big breath out. We're going to try that again. If you want to try to be conscious of swapping your hands, what's on top? <laughs> I don't know. That is a long time from the beginning of the song to the end, but if you want to try. It's about love, love, love. Reach out wide. That's what it's all about. Cause God loves us. We love each other. Mother, father, sister, brother. Everybody scream and shout. Woohoo! Cause that's what it's all about. It's about love, love, love. Try it one more time. It's about love, love, love. That's what it's all about. Cause God loves us. We love each other. Mother, father, sister, brother. Everybody scream and shout. That's what it's all about. It's about love, love, love. Take your hands together, thumbs to the heart, and take a breath. Reach it up high on the next breath in, and then lower them down to your lap. Breathe them forward and hold that long back and strong tummy. All right, really connect with the floor, and then exhale and just drape over the front of your body. Let your head be really heavy here, so don't you know? Um, don't look around. Like shake it, yes, shake it, no, and let it hang. And then take one hand to the block in the middle of your feet, and then reach up high, stretching long through the the um, chest muscles and opening them up. And the hand that's high comes low. And the hand that's low goes high. Breathe in and breathe in out. And then the hand that's high comes low. Just really connect your feet with the floor. Really squeeze all the muscles in your legs tight. Tighten the belly. Tighten the back. And now breath in. And see if that doesn't feel more supported. Like you're not yanking with the back muscles. And then exhale, thumbs to your heart. Breath in, breath out. That's one movement of the sun shine up, a sunrise, a sunset, and sunrise again. Here we go. Breath in, reach high. Exhale, hands to the lap. Breath in, extend from the lower body all through the upper body, but your shoulders are relaxed. And then an exhale and drape up to the body. Breathing in and out. And then take one 
one hand to the center of your feet and reach high on the next breath in to go the ceiling tiles. And then the hand that's high comes low and then the hand that's low goes high. And come on back down and then feel your feet really connect. And squeeze all the muscles in the low body as you reach up on the breath in and on the breath out. Palms together, thumbs to your heart. Okay, so our story is kind of funny because we've got a porcupine that lives in a petting zoo. Oh my. Yeah, not working really good. And so he doesn't have any any friends or any um uh, anybody that comes to visit, you know, or it's just, he's kind of lonesome. So he comes up with a song and I always feel like he's got this country music kind of a voice. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to sing his first song. Now, let's see if he's living God's love. I've been so lonesome all my life. I guess I can't be picky. I'm porcupine for a wife. And rabbits aren't too icky. <laughs> well, now he doesn't really get why they are not happy. <laughs> why not? They just, they just, he thinks it's because um, they are um, too jumpy and rude to make good companions. So he's going to get him a wife that's easygoing like him. And they say things like, you're walking bird ball. And they say, go away, pin cushion. <laughs> All right. So to be a rabbit today with your body, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, fist to your uh, top of your head and you're going to breathe your ears open, like inflate them. <laughs> As you take sips of air up your nose and then exhale <sighs> and deflate your ears. Breath in. <laughs> And then let it go. Now this may feel a little silly, but the neat thing is you increase your inhale as you get her done. So breath in. You can get one more sip. And then let it go. Yay. All right, take your hands to your lap and sit on your little bunny tail and extend the crown of the head nice and high. And lift one little bunny leg and then stretch it out in front of you. And bend the knee and reach it high and exhale it down. Lift your other bunny leg and stretch it out in front of you. And bring it back. Bent and back to the floor. Now as you work, what happens to your back? If it starts to round on you, then don't lift so high and really try to um, focus on being long and strong in the torso. So breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in and out, and in and out. How'd you feel? Do you feel it working in your belly? in, maybe pull the muscles of the belly up and in, in, out, and in, and out, one more round, inhale, on. exhale, inhale, exhale, probably going too fast, just my nature, <laughs> jumping in like the rabbit. <laughs> All right, so let's see what he tries next. Okay, so the next critters that he tries to see about making friends with are the... Bears. Yes, <laughs> I've been so lonesome all my life. And though you're pink and fat, I'm porcupine for a wife. So I won't mention that. And she, of course, snugs him, turns around, doesn't even pay him any attention. And he says, well, she must be stuck up. I got to find me a wife with a sharper sense of humor. <laughs> All right. So let's work on our middles. Um, knowing that the middle that we have, it is good. I said to the little people, I said, you, the body that you're in today, that is just right. The world's going to tell you your body needs to look like a certain way, right? But it doesn't have to, right? We got the body that we got, and that's a good thing. 
All right, so stand by your, um, we're going to go on both sides, but there's just a few of us, so we're good. I hope we're still in the picture. <laughs> and then we're going to take one toe underneath the chair. Grammy, we're trying to do triangle. All right, and then take a toe uh, flat and sideways. All right, so reach your arms out, big breath in. And then you're going to exhale over your uh, seat cushion and reach one hand down. All right. There you go. How's that feeling? Good. All right. Now, this is one of those moves that's great for balance and stretching and strengthening. You're doing it all. And you want to be breathing while you do it. And so, we're going to do this and the reverse of it. So, we take the hand that's high and reach it towards the seat cushion. And the hand on the seat cushion is going to the back of the chair. All right, there you go. And then you can take that hand off of the chair and up as high as your shoulder might allow, or you can just leave it right there on the chair, whatever feels good. Now see if you can keep the weight in the outside of the feet and don't let that back leg fall in. All right. Keep, and then check and see if you're breathing because I was holding my breath. All right, breathe it in, breathe it out. Sometimes when we do something that's a challenge for us, we stop breathing to concentrate, and yet that's so counterproductive because we need the breath to get the hard thing done. All right, hand that's high comes low, and then now take both legs back and push into your um, half dog. Now, if you want not to be so low here, you want to come to the back of the chair and do it and push back if that feels better for your body. Know that you always have options and you want to make it just what you need tonight. Not what the silly little yoga lady is offering. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you're going to come to the opposite side of your chair and you're going to stand on it two feet side by side on railroad tracks. And then you're going to take one toe underneath the chair and one toe flattened sideways away. All right. And then you're going to reach your arms out. Breath in. Exhale as you push out over the seat cushion. All right. And it's a little softer than our cushion in the story. All right. Reach high to the ceiling and really open and lengthen through the legs and the body. The neck is long. The shoulders are relaxed. The arms are stretching. Everything's strengthening and balancing. You're feeling groovy. All right, next week we're going to start a um, Linton series because we got Ash Wednesday coming up. And that'll be good for the season. We're going to learn about how to um, offer forgiveness and receive forgiveness and forgive ourselves. Not so easy. All right, the hand that's high comes low, and the hand that's low reaches to the back of your chair, or maybe it comes off of the chair, or maybe reaches up even towards the ceiling tiles. Your weight stays in the outside of the feet. Try not to, you know, fall into that um, stretch. And just experience what you experience. If you feel pain, know it's a message to stop. Don't well, keep pushing through that. There's something your body's trying to tell you. Not a good idea, not a good idea, not a good idea. Right? <laughs> All right, the hand that's high comes low. And again, you can work your half dog here or on the back of the chair. Whatever feels right is just perfect. Okay, so he's not going to make friends with a pig. And he's not going to make friends with a rabbit. So, what do you think might he try next at the um, petting zoo? Cat or a goat? A cat or a goat might have better luck, you think? Oh, All right, come on out of your wild dog, and we'll go to the pages where he finds the beavers. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So, he finds the beavers, and he says, I've been so lonesome all my life, and though your teeth are bucky, I'll fork you funny for a wife. Say so you're a gal that's lucky. And the beaver didn't appreciate Cushion's song and she started needling him. No girl in a right mind would bury you, you scrub brush. 
And with a slap of her tail on the water, splash, she swam away. <laughs> All right, so let's be one of those trees that the beaver's going to gnaw down to make their house since they're not moving in with pin cushion or a cushion. <laughs> All right, so really grow roots, and today, just for grins and giggles, start on the leg that is your weaker leg. Do you do you have a leg that you feel is weaker? Yes. You do? You don't? Okay, it's all good. All right, so if you don't have one, it's you can just pick how you want to start, because what we're going to do is we're going to offer it three times. So if you do have a weaker leg, all right, it's going to be the one that we can work a little at. And it's a good strategy to know if you're trying something, don't do it the same amount on each leg. Um, if you have a weaker leg, do that one maybe twice as much. Or so the weaker one is going to be still. My balancing leg, okay. my standing leg, okay? And so, Miss Margaret, just whichever side you want to buff up on. Just go. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right, your heel is on the top of your foot, or it can be kickstand to your ankle, or it can come up your leg, or anywhere you want to put it on your leg. Some people like to go higher with their leg. Oops. If their dress will let me. All right, and then you're going to um, breathe in and out as you squeeze your tummy muscles. Every time you wobble, squeeze them tighter. Shoulders are relaxed. If you want to grow any tree branches, you're welcome to take them off the chair. You can do one at a time. You can do one only. All right, that beaver's gnawing at your ankle down there, and you feel it. So take your hands that are high, low, and your leg that's up, down, and shake that beaver off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now balance on the opposite <clears throat> leg now. This is the leg that was up. Just because you did it one way on that one side, you don't have to do it the same way on the second side. So find how you feel most comfy. And then you're going to take one hand high or two hands high or hands on the heart. Tummy wobble, squeeze your tummy muscles tighter. And the branches that are high come low, and the legs that are up come down, and you shake that beaver off. Get away, get away, get away. All right, do y'all have any trouble with beavers down at your pond? Oh, Lord, yes. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Ada's ever had Mustress. beavers on her pond. She has those Canadian geese that oh, right. make their way up. <laughs> you know. We have um, muskrats. Muskrats. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Watch out for them. Oh. All right, so you're back to this leg. And so find how you want to work <laughs> it as you work it a second time. Be nice to yourself. You've, you've already got some uh, fatigue here, maybe. So just try it. You can keep your leg higher or lower, wherever you want it to be. You can have hands on the chair. You can try again. You're going to lift one hand, two hands. Hands on the heart. Then take the corners of your mouth up to your ears. Yay. And the branches that are high come <laughs> down and the legs that are up. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, so we so far have had no luck there, Cushion. I'm going to put you right over here. Okay, so everybody have a seat in your chair. And he hears somebody call him. And he doesn't know who. And he's like, who's there? And uh, the little boy says, me, I just wanted to tell you I really liked your song. Um, she says, uh, you have a lovely voice. <laughs> and he tries to see who's talking, so he gets closer. And she says, stop right there. She says, can't you read the signs, which are the same signs he has around his um, enclosure. If they say, do not touch. <laughs> they say, keep out. And worst of all, they say, no petting. He gets a little excited. And he says, who are you? And she says, my name is Barbara, but you can call me Barb. <laughs> Barb is a beautiful name, said Cushion. Are you dangerous? And she says, I don't think so. Are you? And he says, I'm a porcupine. He says, I got quills. And she says, well, I got quills too. And she says, I'm a hedgehog. 
And he says, well, you don't look like a hedge or a hog. <laughs> and she says, well, you don't look like a pork or a pine. Oh. And um, she, he says, well, you're beautiful. And she says, you're outstanding. And so he's not, now as he sings his song, he's not so sad. And he sings, I've been so lonesome all my life. Now I've met Barb so fair. I'm porcupine in for a wife. We'd make the perfect pair. <laughs> and of course they did, or what would be the point of this whole story? <laughs> That's cute. All right, sit up nice and tall. And make your heart move up right at your chest. So thumbs are together. Interlace your fingers and put it right here at your chest. Relax your shoulders, crown of the head, reaching to the ceiling. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Take one more breath in. And let one more breath out. And then tiptoe around to the side of your chair, grow tall in the body, and then reach to the back of your chair and find your version of twist. As you grow tall with the next breath in, see if you can get a little bit more into the twist. But don't yank it or crank it, right? You want the work, you want to initiate it from the middle of the body. And then tiptoe around to the opposite side. We're going to work the twist on this direction. So grow tall with the next breath in. And reach slides. to the back of your chair. And this is a counter pose. So you should be twisting exactly the opposite way. One more breath in, one more breath out, and then tiptoe right the back to your chair seat and just get all comfy. And we're going to think about the best love story of all, and now we're going to think about how much Jesus loves us. <clears throat> and we're going to do the Jesus Storybook Bible um, 23rd Psalm. So if you're not familiar with it, this, y'all, if you ever have a baby born, you got to take a gift. Buy this book. It's Awesome. And what's the name of it? It's called the Jesus Storybook Bible, but it is so well done. Oh. And it's so beautiful. The language is beautiful. I really probably just want one for sure. But <laughs> <laughs> kids make you get a good reason. Yeah. 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 Have you seen that before? Well, that's a good one to know about. Jesus Storybook Bible. And every story just talks about love of how much God loves us. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Betsy, oh. here's a clock if you like Thank one. You. All yes. right, Miss Debbie, would you like one? All right. How about it, Miss Jojo? You need two? I, I got one. You just want one? All right. Thank you. All right. So instead of saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, it says that God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He guides me, and he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in the soft green grass, in a meadow, by a little stream. And even when I walk through the dark and scary lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me and he keeps me safe. He rescues me and he makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of he fills my heart so full of happiness. I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will 
go to Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will go to take a big breath in. Let the breath go. Begin to invite some movement back into your body. Wherever you are, take those hands, cross them back over your heart, and say namaste. Namaste. Yay, ladies, we did it. All right, that's the best love story of all.